Today we will look at a number of circumstances which may be relevant to you, a family member or friends, whereby it may be appropriate for you to look at updating matters such as your will or power of attorney, or putting these in place if you have not already done so. Myself, Karen Phillips and Jessica Flowerdew will look at some common situations and address the various issues that need to be taken into account at those times. The number of unmarried couples living together in Scotland is rapidly on the rise. It's a common misconception that unmarried couples are treated in the same way as married couples on death, but since law reforms in 2006, a cohabitant can make a claim on the estate of their deceased partner. You may wish to make provision for your cohabitant, in which case you would draft a will leaving part or all of your estate to them on your death. Alternatively, many cohabiting couples choose not to get married and that is a conscious decision because they don't want the same rights to apply to them as would apply to them if they were married. And the simple solution there is to draft a will and that will defeat all cohabitants' rights on death. Most individuals do not wish their children to inherit at an early age. They wish to provide for their children but protect their inheritance for the future. In this situation, we advise that a young person's trust is included in the will. A number of trustees are appointed, three is often a good number to allow a majority decision. The trustees are responsible for administering the trust funds in the interests of the children. There's usually an age where the children are absolutely entitled to their funds, for example age 18, 21 or 25. The trusts are very flexible and there is power to advance either capital or income from the trust fund earlier if the trustees think this is sensible. For example, the trustees may feel that it is sensible to advance funds in connection with a house deposit, but may not think it is so sensible to advance funds for the purchase of a motorbike. It is important in a will that you consider the appointment of guardians. These are individuals who would take over your legal rights and responsibilities as a parent after death. The important matter of doing this in a will is that you choose who the guardians are to be, not the courts. The dynamics of family relationships are changing in our society. It is very common for individuals to get married again and have children from previous relationships. It is important to consider how you would wish to structure your will in this situation. You may wish your new partner to benefit from your assets, but ultimately want them to pass to your own children. A trust structure can be used for this purpose, which would allow your partner to use and enjoy the assets. For example, live in the house or have the income from investments. This arrangement can be very flexible. The importance is that it allows the ultimate protection of the capital value of the trust assets to pass to your own children and not in terms of your partner's will. No one knows what's around the corner and I'd strongly encourage everybody who doesn't have one to grant a power of attorney. A power of attorney can only be granted while you still have legal capacity. People wrongly assume that their spouse or their partner or their children could act on their behalf if they were unable to. A power of attorney, or sometimes referred to as enduring power of attorney in England, is a document which will enable somebody to deal with both your financial and, if you wish, your welfare. If you know somebody doesn't have legal capacity and they don't have a power of attorney, there's different measures which we can help you with. But for some people, they need more help. Maybe they need to sell property and need to manage the funds once the property's been sold. Maybe they need an extensive care package and a guardian needs to be appointed to manage this and set it up. Then, in those circumstances, we'd apply to the court for what's known as a guardianship order. This application is a little bit more expensive it's more cumbersome and it takes some time, but it gives you similar powers to what an attorney would have. If you feel you'd like to find out more about any of these issues, please get in touch with us.